Hi guys and welcome back to Miss Educate. Today's video is an introduction to conjunctions. We are going to be learning about what a conjunction is and what is its function in a sentence. Conjunctions used to be known as connectives. If you're looking at the word conjunction and thinking, what on earth is that? But you know the word connective, they're pretty much the same thing. So let's have a look at the different types of conjunctions. First of all, let's look at coordinating conjunctions. These are conjunctions that join two main clauses together. Examples of coordinating conjunctions are and, but, nor, or, yet, and so. I'm going to show you these coordinating conjunctions in sentences so you can see how they work. Here's my first sentence. I'm going to town and I will meet my friends. And is the coordinating conjunction in this sentence. And the two main clauses are I am going to town, I will meet my friends. Connected by that coordinating conjunction and. Let's look at the next sentence. We wanted to play outside, but it was raining. Our coordinating conjunction in that sentence is but. Our two main clauses are we wanted to play outside and it was raining. Both of them connected by that conjunction, but. You can have pasta or you can have pizza. Oof, both look very yummy to me. But let's find that coordinating conjunction. Can you spot where it is now? That's correct. It is or. Sally did not brush her teeth, nor did she wash her face. Oh dear, she's got very smelly breath and a very dirty face then. Can you spot the coordinating conjunction? That's correct. Nor is our coordinating conjunction. And our two main clauses are Sally did not brush her teeth and she did not wash her face. Next one. Hannah doesn't like running, yet she entered a marathon. Well, if you don't like running, why would you enter a marathon? Can you spot our coordinating conjunction? That's correct. It is yet. Well done. It was hot outside, so we put on suntan lotion. Can you spot the coordinating conjunction? Correct. It is so. We're now going to have a little look at a different type of conjunction. This is a subordinating conjunction. And they work slightly differently in the sentences. Here are some examples of subordinating conjunctions. After, because, since, if, through, until, unless, where and when. Let's have a look at one of these subordinating conjunctions in a sentence. We couldn't go to the shop because it was closed. Here we have because as our subordinating conjunction in that sentence. Do not go outside until the winds calm down. You might notice that part of the sentence is in blue and part of the sentence is in purple. This is to show you the difference between the clauses in the sentence. So our do not go outside is a main clause. Until the winds calm down is our subordinate clause in the sentence. But they are connected by our subordinating conjunction until. I can't go to the party, although I would love to. Again, can you spot our subordinating conjunction? That's correct. It is although. Make sure you take a rest if you get out of breath. Again, notice the blue and purple in the sentence. The blue is our main clause. The purple is our subordinate clause. It's the part of the sentence that doesn't make sense by itself. If you said to someone, make sure you take a rest, that makes sense by itself. But if you get out of breath, it doesn't make sense as a sentence by itself. And therefore, it is a subordinate clause in the sentence. But what is our subordinating conjunction in the sentence? That's correct. It's if. Sally is brilliant at netball, whereas Jenny is not. Can you spot the subordinating conjunction in that sentence? If you need to, you could go back in the video where I gave you the examples of subordinating conjunctions and see if any of them help you. It is whereas. And again, we've got our blue main clause and our purple subordinate clause. 
it's your turn now. I'm going to give you a conjunction and I would like you to try either on a whiteboard or on a piece of paper or perhaps just saying it out loud to someone to put that conjunction into a sentence. Why don't you have a go? Your first one is unless. Pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. Did you have a go? Here's my sentence for unless. You won't get a reward unless you are a good girl. Yes, that's very true. I say that all the time to my class. The next one is because. Think about the sentence you could use because in and think about the main clause and the subordinate clause. Welcome back. Here's my sentence for because. He didn't come to school because he was sick. Well done. I think now you have a greater understanding of coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. Perhaps now you can use them in your work. Well done, guys. See you soon. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and hit the bell for notifications. Take care, guys.